I give up. I give up. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm supposed to be a tech death drummer, and then there's this guy that exists. There we go. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another drum playthrough review. To everyone who is brand new, hello and welcome. My name is Nick. I play drums and a bunch of other instruments and the reason why we do these videos is so that way we can better ourselves by learning from others so that way we can embrace new technique. And what better way to learn new technique and embrace new technique than by watching drummers who are a whole lot better than us, that's for sure. And this video is definitely going to be one of those. So everybody loves a really fast drummer and everybody loves watching a super fast drummer because for some reason we just love tormenting ourselves knowing that we'll never get that that fast at least not anytime soon I don't know why people really enjoy watching super fast drummers but it's just a thing everybody loves seeing everybody be able to master their craft well this guy this guy is of a different level of crazy now he's been talked about by a whole lot of different metal drummers and all that and he is ridiculously fast it's it's quite literally unbelievable he's played through Archspire songs with one hand he's done some of the craziest chops that have been actually better than Ellis Depario Siberiano as far as speed goes today we're gonna be checking out a drummer who goes by the name of Ricardo Merlini. He's an Italian drummer. Unbelievably fast drumming. Unbelievably fast. So with all that being said, we're going to check out some of these videos that he's got. He's got one in particular. This video is labeled hashtag world's fastest drummer. Fastest drummer ever shows his inhuman speed. What a catchy title. I don't know a whole lot about this guy as far as like what bands he's played in where, you know, he started drumming. All I know is that he took lessons under Mike Mangini, who's the current drummer of Dream Theater who we'll do a video on a little bit later, by the way, on some of this, uh, some of his hand technique and all that. But apparently this guy has learned under our man, Mike Mangini, and he's, yeah, he's learned under Mike Mangini, apparently, and has learned a lot from his, uh, hand technique, and he's become insanely fast and notoriously fast for how quickly he can move his hands. So, anyhow, we're gonna check out a couple of this guy's videos and just see exactly what he's got going on, because this dude is just, he's unbelievably insane, and I think that we should be able to learn from his technique. All right, let's check this video out, guys. And already he's starting out with holding what looks like... It looks like 2x4s, but they're smaller than 2x4s. Essentially doing 300 BPM on those. Like, that's just ridiculous. So looking just right now at his hand technique, it looks like that he's using fingers and a little bit of wrist mostly. Oh great, we're gonna get copyright claim for that music. It's just insane too. He's got insane speed on his hands. He's even using the metal brush and he's insanely fast on that. And he's playing on a pillow. Look at him, he's checking his phone. That's just not fair. Yeah, so it looks like he uses a whole lot more wrist in combination with his fingers on his right hand. Or, I'm sorry, his left hand. That's just insane. I mean, obviously this guy is insanely talented as far as, you know, being a pocket drummer goes. Good lord. That's just, that's just not fair. He shouldn't be able to play that quickly with metal brushes. He, he's barely even moving his hands, too. 330 BPM. So this is a video from a couple of years ago. That's him playing on his own hand. Your hand has, like, no rebound, and he's going at it. That's just not right. What is he playing psychosocial on his laptop? Is 
Look at that hand, dude. That's ridiculous. Look at him smuggle up. Yeah, a lot of these that he's doing are really good exercises to do for hand speed. Just kind of play along to a song and just see how long you can go with one hand. But it looks like he's using a lot of finger technique. It looks like kind of, kind of like French tech, French grip. It looks like, but his wrist is moving a little too much for French grip. Just imagine though those blast beats. What those blast beats sound like, dude. Okay, come on, dude. That's in his car. That's him holding his keys. We get it. <laughs> we get it. But that looks like that's coming from his elbow. Okay, att really? I give up. I give up. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm supposed to be a tech death drummer, and then there's this guy that exists. For reference to, this is my first time watching this video all the way through. That's 360 BPM, y'all. That's insane. Should I just give up? Learning guitar? Should I just give up? See, that's just not right. He He's insanely fast, and for some reason I, I don't... It just, it blows my mind that he's literally able to drum that quickly for... I, I'm, I'm speechless. There's another video that he did where he actually plays through an Archspire song unbelievably quickly, so we're just going to check that out real quick as well, because that is definitely worth the watch. All right, let's play this. This is Involuntary Doppelganger. With one hand, basically. Like, look at that. I know it's poor video quality, the highest quality comes in is 480p. But literally, he's blasting with one hand. That's just, that's unfair. People don't realize just like how hard it is to play certain Archbire songs. It's insanely tough. And this guy's sitting over here playing it like with one freaking hand. It's unbelievable. So what are some things that you guys can do that will help bring your single strokes up to the level that this guy's hands are at? For one is practice, practice, practice. Never stop practicing. Put in as much as you can. The minimal effective dose, at least 10 minutes of hand work every day. That's the one thing that'll definitely help you. Isolate the fingers and the wrist and see which one's gonna get you the best output ever. So there's a couple things too to take into consideration as well. Consider whether or not you want to become solely a wrist player or a fingers player. Because remember, we referenced in another video that triangle where it's power, speed, and endurance. You need to decide which one of those two you're going to have and which one you're going to forsake. Obviously, he's chosen speed and endurance, so he's kind of had to forsake some power a little bit, which you can tell. But there's nothing wrong with that. If that's the style that you're going for, that's perfectly fine. So that's a couple things to take into consideration. But damn, that is some unbelievably fast hand speed. I don't understand, honestly, who would want to even go that fast with one hand. Because just like, at the end of the day, you kind of just, you can only take it so far. And I mean, like, unless every song that your band is going to be playing is over like 300, 400 BPM, and you know, you're basically Archspire. What's the point? I mean, like, it kind of gets a little stale after a while, you 
you'd think. But I don't know. Apparently, this guy loves it. But yeah, if you ever want to get that fast, there's nothing that's going to substitute practice. Just practice every day. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to cut the video here. So here's a few things y'all can do to support me. So for one, you can hit that like and subscribe button. That would definitely be very helpful. And you can also check out the other playlists I got where I got a lot of videos like this. So if you like this one, I'm sure you'll like those ones as well. You can always check out the links that I got down below to my band page and my Spotify page. That stuff, absolutely wicked. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to cut the video here. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and have a good night.